In London with Dr. Xiaoming Li. He's a professor of medical oncology. Really good to have you with us, doctor. This is a potentially revolutionary vaccine if the trials prove to be successful. It's being produced by BioNTech, which was founded by German and Turkish scientists who, of course, have pioneered the mRNA technology. Explain to us more about how this vaccine would work to target lung cancer cells. Well, we're very excited because based on the COVID vaccine story, we think the first patient we ever with a COVID vaccine, we saw this tremendous safety, millions of lives. So this incredible technology, we hope to use for our lung cancer. So as you know, lung cancer is number one killer in the world. We got 2.5 million new cases every year, 1.8 death every in the world, including Turkey. In the UK, we have 50,000 cases, 30,000 dead. And most of this lung cancer present is stage four, but we got also early stages as well. So we hope we can use this technology in combination with our standard treatment. So currently we have we have immunotherapy, came about about eight years ago, and we have survivor, long-term survivor, five years we're seeing 30% living longer. We we this immunotherapy. And now this new system, we call it mRNA, targeting the tumor protein, just like target the spike protein, COVID virus. And we hope we can give this long-lasting immunity for our cancer patient. Now, it's not similar to the COVID, uh, COVID vaccine in, in a sense that we have to give it repeat. So our first patient, Yannis Ross, uh, he, he had stage, he got his chemotherapy, because radiation treatment. Now, what we are hoping to do is that we will give an immunotherapy, a standard immunotherapy, alongside the mRNA vaccine. So we got two different set of immune systems to stimulate immune, hunt down the cancer cell, and hopefully prevent or cancer come back. And hopefully, this technology can be used uh, in other cancer. But only the beginning. This is only the safely uh, stuff. And and we want to see how it goes. We see how it goes with the first 20 patients, and all goes well. We do a randomized study. And the sooner we can get off the ground and show its safety, then we can roll on to the phase three study, which is a glad global effort. So I hope this first mRNA treatment for lung cancer patients uh, can kickstart mRNA research for our lung cancer patients. It's a big problem worldwide. It sure is. And doctor, how long will these trials take? How soon could we see these vaccines on the market if indeed the trials are successful? Well, you know, it's early days yet. So this is a phase one safety study. So hopefully we can get it done in six months. We show safety, we can examine it, uh, no serious side effects. Then we can roll on to a phase two study and see it works in combination with standard treatment. Then we have to move on to a phase three study where we compare a standard versus a, a standard treatment plus the vaccine. And we hope we achieve what we wanted to see. So it's exciting. It's a very clever technology founded by BioNTech and Moderna. Uh, as you say, you know, one of the founders is a German Turkish. So we're very grateful to him uh, for his support uh, to run this study in the UK. So we, we're aiming to recruit 10,000 of our NHS patients for the vaccine trial, not only for lung cancer, but many well. Okay, Dr. Xiaoming Li, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for explaining all of that to us.